you again Friday. We we chilling, man. We're gonna bring you to something um, involving your will. You want to make sure that you're using your willpower in relation to manifesting or getting your desire that you have in your mind firmly planted. Okay. You want to use your willpower. Your willpower is like steam. Okay. Will is always concerned with action, whether that be mental or physical action. Okay. Or whatever you're doing. Um, if you're doing a physical act um, of gaining knowledge or you're doing a mental act of gaining knowledge, which is could be reading, your will is always concerned with action. Okay. The physical body and all its attributes are not yours per se, because if they were yours, they would be in a state of um, being permanent. Um, it's not your I am, but something belonged to and used by you in your task of expression, physical and mental. So that's why we say vessel. We say vessel, the vessel, um, the body. That's why we talk in, you know, third party reference with the body, the vessel. You hear that. Emotions, states, emotional states are temporary and permanent and they're always changing, okay? Like the will, you know, you're happy, then you're sad, then you're back upset again, then you're happy. They're just coming and going like, like wind, you know? These emotions can be observed by the I am that I'm talking about, the I am I. Behind the I am this in front of that. And control, like such processes, can be set aside like a pen, like an item. You can set that emotion aside and just, you know, observe it. It's like a pen. The will process is completely only, it's complete only when it manifests itself in action. Okay. That's mental or physical too. So the will is only complete when it manifests itself. Your will to get um, that six figures can only be complete when it has manifested into reality. Okay, physical and mental. Because the um, will is is called into existence from the flame of desire which comes from feelings, you're feeling strong and your emotions into it. You know, your will will remain loyal to desire and this feeling, okay? The will is closer to the spirit or the I am I than the feelings or states. The feelings and states of mind that you go through the will is closer to the I am I in relation. Okay. So your feelings and your states are on your outside, outside of your vessel. They're to be observed and looked upon. And, you know, but you don't want to let these consume your building. In your relation to your dream desire, your, you know, your grand, your grand picture, your grand architecture. Exercise of concentration with note, book and pen each day, okay, can help your concentration shift. Just as your eyes see all outside of itself, they cannot see itself within itself, always subjective and never objective is what you need to get out of that, the eyes. So it's important to cultivate your willpower. And you're going to do that by doing every day. You're going to do a task that you really don't want to do. You might have some dogs. You might have to go pick up some horse shit, some dogs. Go do that. You might have to study some financial um, 
some financial work every hour. You don't feel like doing it. Do that. You might have to clean up every day. Do that. Performing undesirable tasks strengthens your willpower. If you didn't know that, now you know it now. We're going to close this message with your will is directly associated with your eyes. Okay? Your eyes. If you have weak willpower, your eyes can deceive you. If you have strong willpower, your eyes can be your best friend. If you stand on a train that's not moving until you're right, you have a train that is moving. If you look down, your train that you're standing on will appear to be moving when you know it's not. And that's the chief agent in the occult is the eye. Because your willpower needs to be strong. Because if it's feeble, things can enter your aura through your eyes. Hope you like this message. Drop a like. Cheers.